Question number five, Materia Ture. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker, tēnā koutou e te whare. My question is to the Minister of Justice and us. Will she ask the Law Commission to resume its work on alternative pre-trial and trial processes in sexual violence cases in light of the decision by the police not to prosecute those involved in the Roastbuster case? If not, why not? Speaker. Honourable Simon Brown. On behalf of the Minister, this is an area that I'm interested in taking some further advice on, uh, then looking into. We are committed to supporting victims of crime, particularly victims of sexual violence, and therefore how they interact with the justice system is an area that is constantly being reviewed. We don't uh, want to make decisions based on any single uh, particular case, but the issues raised are of general interest and I'll be requesting further advice in this area. Supplementary question, Materia Ture. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How can the Minister not support the immediate resumption of the Law Commission review, given that there are seven formal complaints in the Rosebusters investigation, and yet not one can pass the test in the Solicitor General's prosecution guideline of a reasonable prospect of conviction? Honourable Simon Bridges. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, as really I've said, um, the government's not going to react to a particular uh, case, but these are important issues. There's no question of that. Uh, the minister is certainly taking an open advice uh, uh, approach and seeking uh, advice on uh, these very important issues. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Turo. Does she agree with the president of the Law Commission, Sir Grant Hammond, when he said, quote, the Law Commission has been told that participants in criminal trials, both victims and defendants, find the current adversarial process to be very alienating and disempowering. And if she does agree, isn't this further evidence to ask the Law Commission to immediately resume its work? Honourable Simon Brisbane. On behalf of the Minister, as stated, clearly the matters uh, I am uh, taking advice on. I, don't, I think there, there, there are a fair set of issues that the member raises that do need to be looked into very carefully and closely. But I think in direct response to the member's question, whether we in some way, shape or form move to a different kind of system here, inquisitorial for example, it's clearly something that would have to be thought through very carefully. There are, as with any changes like this, real pros and cons. It's not entirely clear, uh, for example, whether it would improve victims' experiences uh, or whether it would, for example, res result in a higher uh, conviction rate. So I think, as I say, these are things that need to be thought through carefully and, uh, dare I say it, judiciously. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Turo. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does the Minister agree with the former Justice Minister Simon Power when he said that it was, quote, worrying that only 10 per cent or about 2,000 sexual offences were reported each year? And if she does agree, isn't this a good reason to ask the Law Commission to resume its work to improve the system so that victims are more comfortable with reporting cases? Honourable Simon Bridges. Oh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, the low uh, rates that the member talks about have been a concern for many years, and I think rightfully so. That's why uh, we've increased funding in terms of the support in these areas, and that's why, as I've said, uh, uh, we are in a number of areas, including a drafted evidence amendment bill seeking to make uh, things simpler and easier for victims, and why also I'm seeking advice on the points raised in the primary question uh, here. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Turo. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Why will the Minister not ask the Law Commission to immediately resume its work when victims, lawyers, judges and support services all agree the current system does not work and even esteemed members of our judicial system, such as Dame Sylvia Cartwright, have told the Law Commission, quote, if I had a daughter who was raped, 
I would strongly advise her not to go near the criminal justice system. Honourable Simon Bridges. Mr Speaker, um, as I've already said, these are matters um, very much which are taking advice on. As I've also already said, I think we need to consider these matters carefully because there are pros and cons uh, in relation to any system uh, changes. Let me also say, though, that um, I think the police commissioner has made very clear uh, they do want uh, complainants and victims of crime to come forward. Uh, I think uh, uh, women in New Zealand uh, can be very clear those matters will be dealt with sensitivity, um, thoroughness and real professionalism and with the resources that they uh, merit. Question. Oh, supplementary question, Marama Fox. Uh, kia ora, te mana whakawa. Does the Minister agree with Rape Crisis that the system fails survivors of sexual violence? And if she does, how will she ensure that the system does deliver justice for survivors and their whanau? Honourable Simon Bridges. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, of course the justice system works incredibly hard to support victims of sexual violence and we're constantly reviewing the way they interact with the system and are interested in ways in which we can pr improve uh, the experience of complainants. I mean, I note, for instance, there's much going on in relation to specialist court victim advisers, uh, funding for victim support and rape prevention education also in this area. So it is something that is being worked very hard on indeed. Question number six, Stuart Smith. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of 